All right. So we will be starting with today's session. It will be on image processing and computer vision. Now I am Aditya. I work as a lead AI ML engineer in West Pharmaceuticals, and I have been part of Must Research for roughly around two and a half years now. Now, uh, just to give you a little bit of my background. Uh, I, as I said, I currently work in a, a pharmaceutical company called West Pharmaceuticals. And previously I have worked with uh, Microsoft uh, as a cloud platform uh, engineer. And from, and before that, even I worked in uh, Intel and I have done my uh, studies from VIT university. Now coming to my interest, uh, as you might already, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, like basically thought about it vision is one of my interest areas but i do have you know fair amount of uh, you know knowledge on speech analytics and as well as as uh, you know nlp or text related analytics but to be honest vision is actually uh, you know one of the colorful uh, areas of data science machine learning and even deep learning and there are potential lot of problems uh, industry problems which i mean uh, that is still there and actually can be solved with some of the uh, techniques that we are going to learn today. So basically whatever we are going to learn today, it can actually be used to solve almost 70% of the industry problems uh, that is currently there. Okay. And, and the rest 30, I am going to talk about it a little more, uh, but uh, like considering the, uh, you know, the time that we have and, and it takes a much deeper understanding, but I'm going to give you a brief and I'm going to share some resources that, that will definitely help you to, uh, you know, grow your interest and learn more on that area. Okay. So with this, we will get started. Uh, so firstly, I'm going to give you a brief of the different topics that we are going to discuss today. Now for the entire four hour session, I have divided this into four different sections. In the first one, we are going to, uh, you know, basically get started with computer vision. Particularly, we are going to learn how to use OpenCV. Uh, which is actually one of the key frameworks uh, that is that is used to implement any vision related problem. Uh, so in the first section, we are briefly going to touch about what exactly are images and how a computer actually decodes an image and what are the different, uh, you know, the initial mathematical operations that can be done on images and how do we exactly transform an image? It, it is like preparing your image in such a way that it will be really helpful for further uh, data science related works. Now uh, in hour two and hour three, I'm mostly going to talk about certain image operations, which are extremely, uh, you know, useful, popular, and most of the core work in, in the vision was is actually handled by these image operations. Now in the final hour, I'm going to talk about some of the, uh, you know, the modern state of the art, uh, technology that that is happening around the vision world, which is particularly related to deep learning. But we are going to talk base upon, I mean, touch base upon the uh, the initial uh, starting point of it, which is like mostly your convolutional neural networks. And we are going to do a hands-on session of how do we do exactly a uh, you know multi-class classification problem using CNN and and using images. And, uh, and I would going to, uh, you know, I'm going to mention some of the advanced topics and I'm going to share you the resources, which would give you a hands-on approach of how to do it. Uh, but, uh, for this session, we might not get the enough time to implement neural style transfers and, uh, generative advisoral networks, but these are some of the, uh, advanced computer vision related techniques, uh, that is, that is happening. And most of the advanced techniques, I would say it's still in the research phase. So if you are someone who is interested in the research part of the world, these topics will be really helpful. But if you are, uh, you know, looking on the engineering aspect of it, whatever topic that we are going to cover today should actually suffice. Okay. Now for each of these sections, uh, you know, I came up with certain challenges which, which uh, would be really helpful for you all to uh, kind of uh, understand these concepts in a more better way. So, so all these challenges, would actually use whatever concepts we are going to learn and implement today. And, and these will be your assignments basically. So the last one is again, is related to one of the advanced topics of using, uh, you know, regional convolutional network, but I'm going to share you some resources, which would actually guide you to do the last challenge. But apart from that, the first three, uh, I would say difficulty wise, it will be moderate, but it will be really helpful as in when you try to implement these challenges. All right. 
Uh, so, so before we actually begin with the environment and the work, uh, I just wanted to ask everyone that uh, do you guys have these environmental setup already, or do you want me to spend some time on the initial setup? Uh, I have Aditya. Hi. Hi. I think we have we generally been playing with Google Collab Aditya. So okay, so you're um, fine with it, right? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, we will begin with the actual session then. Uh, just for everyone's uh, in, you know, information, I just shared my uh, GitHub link in the chat section. So can uh, everyone see that, the link? So uh, all, we all, all, we all... don't see uh, any chat link. Sorry, maybe I just joined. Uh, cool, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll just post it over here again. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So all the resources are over there in this GitHub repo. So uh, in case if you are using Google Colab, please start uh, cloning it. Or even if you are using in your local system, you can start cloning it. We would begin the actual session now. Okay, so is everyone ready? So I'm going to pause for maybe one minute so that like once the initial cloning is done, right, I can actually get started with this. All right. So uh, yeah. I request you to zoom into the browser a bit. Control plus plus. Okay. Yeah, maybe one more time. Yeah, thanks. Okay. All right. Uh, and everyone else is ready with their environment, right? And they can see my screen as well properly. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So we'll we'll get started. So uh, yeah, Aditya, one small thing. So is yeah. it compulsory to execute parallelly because Okay. We'll get that distraction. We cannot see your screen and again parallelly we have to run the code. Okay, okay, no problem. Like I, I will quickly go through the entire, uh, you know, the notebooks and, and uh, in case if you want to execute, you can definitely do that. But uh, meanwhile, while uh, I'm walking through you the uh, entire uh, notebook session, if you have any questions, you can stop me then and there and ask. But, sure. but it is not compulsory. Like it, it, I thought that it would be helpful for you if you parallelly execute, but that's, that's a completely up to you. Okay. Oh, thanks. All right. Yep, no problem. All right. So, so uh, we'll begin with the actual session. And uh, before we even begin, I just wanted, uh, you know, to just show you that what are the different uh, module versions that I have, because just an FYI, what I have found out that since uh, both OpenCV and some of these popular packages like NumPy, Matplotlib, Pandas, it, it gets updated each and every day, right? So sometimes if these versions are not matching, there can be some, uh, you know, some uh, conflicts or some kind of error that might come. So that is why I thought that it is better to give you the exact module version so that in case if you want to uh, kind of uh, implement these things on your own environment, it would, it would help. Otherwise, like there are again, like some uh, solutions to it. You would need to, you know, look online if there is any kind of version mismatch. So, so having said that we would get started with the actual session. And as I was initially discussing that in the first hour, it, it would be little bit of content intense. Because